All right, kitty cat. Now it's time for us to get going. I don't know which way though. Oh, cool. We're gonna make it fall. Hold up. Oh. Good job. Why oh, you're in the cage? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, well... <gasps> nice jump! Doing really well! Wake up, Susan! Oh, God damn! That doesn't look nice. Jumping yet? Let's go see if there's anything else here. Nothing. Okay. Get over there. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, where are we going? Actually, I hope you have something in mind. Hey there. Gorgeous. Hi, asshole. I see my old lady brought the bleach. Again. What a shame. I really liked your eyes. <laughs> it could have been a start of something uh, very exciting for us, if you know what I mean. Oh, fuck you. She does that every single time. What do they call it? Trust issues, <laughs> that's it. Well, she has a reason. Well, never mind. Plenty more fish in the sea. I I'm not too fussy, but even I have some standards. Ain't gonna touch a bird like you, I gotta be honest, girl. You look like shit. <laughs> well. But I wouldn't want you to think I'm not a kind man. Uh, uh, Plenty of time until dinner, and you're in pain, so... I've brought something to end your suffering. Think of it as an option. I've got this gun here. It's one of my favourites. There's just one bullet in the chamber. Large calibre. You'd be long dead before you'd feel any pain. Sounds good, doesn't it? I mean, it's, ju it's just an idea, you know, no pressure. It sounds good if I'm gonna aim it at your head. Ah, uh, of course. You can't see it. That bleach turns your eyes to nothing but jelly. You pussy. So I'll just leave it for you here. Feel free to use it. That that bullet's meant for you anyway. I better go now. We won't want to get caught red-handed again, would we? You naughty minx. Goddamn pervert. What was that? You can't reach it. Well, what did you expect? Life's a real fucker sometimes. It's you who's a fucker. Alright, kitty. Let's go save her. Cool. What the hell are you doing? 
What is that? Is that a, like a hunting rifle or something? Or what is that? The fuck? Oh, I have to distract you. Oh, I had to wait for you to... Whoa, okay. I'm pretty dumb. Well, at least I worked. You have the key now. It's probably for Susan. Hello. What? Who's this? My eyes. I can't... I can't see a thing. That bitch. A key? Who are you? Say something. Anything. I... I should be able to unlock the handcuffs now. Awesome. So, do I have to? Oh, the gun! That idiot left his gun. No, 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 no! I dropped it. Where is it? Where the hell is it? Oh, it's okay. We're gonna find it. Floor, search. I've got it. Cool. Let's see if there's anything else in here. I can't see anything at least, so let's keep moving. Oh well. I don't want to shoot myself just yet. I'm trying to see if there's anything else over here. Not really. I think this is the only option. I'm sorry, Mitzi. I have to break my promise. But it's only for a while. You'll be right back. It'll be okay. Okay. Did I do something wrong? Is this supposed to happen? What? Death is nothing at all. You have only slipped away into the next room. I am I and you are you. Whatever we were to each other, there we are still. Hope you don't mind creepy posters. Oh, it's your room. You can do what you like with it, but I definitely prefer this to fairies, rainbows, and pink unicorns. Did you make these? No, my boyfriend made them. Some of them, anyway. Cool. So, Miss Ashworth, I happen to have a bottle of wine in my bag. I was going to leave it to Robert, but. I forgot all about it. Robert? The guy with the rats? Oh, yes. Of course. So, shall we have a drink then? We could get to know each other a bit more. I know, I promise I won't get in the way. And, I mean, you don't have to if you don't feel like it. But since we're going to live together for a little while, it won't hurt if we talk to each other, will it? Uh, are you sure you can drink in your condition? Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Well, I, I don't think you mind drinking, like, because it's yours anyway, so. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Great! I'll bring the wine. Okay, I'll get the glasses then. Damn. It's one of those bottles with a cork. That's why I have a corkscrew. Have you got a bottle opener, Miss Ashworth? In the kitchen. I'll go get it, shall I? Yes, please. And while you're there, could you get a couple of glasses, too? Absolutely. So, cool. I wasn't really 
dead or I... That was like a... F it wasn't really a flashback, it was like a front flash thingy, like... Or is this a flashback? I don't know. Oh, the mirror is broken. Did you clean it up? I hope you did. I don't know though. Take wine glasses. One for me, one for Mitzi. Nice. And then we'll get to the kitchen. There we go. Now we can go get some wine. That's awesome. Oh, this music is awesome. Hey, Mitzi. She reminds me of myself when I was younger. I'm not sure if I can fully trust her, but so far she seems genuine. Maybe I will give her a chance. You should, she's a nice girl. Have you found that corkscrew yet? You also need some wine glasses. Um, yeah, I have them right here. Uh, examine. They are still pretty clean after all these years. Cool. Nothing fancy, just an ordinary corkscrew. Yep. There's no one. What? Mitzi is right there. Okay, I'll get closer to her. There you go. Let's get that bottle open. Yeah, but we'll need glasses too. See if you can find some. I already have them here. Here. I found some wine glasses. All right. That's all we need. Oh, and Miss Ashworth, I really must say this before we start. Yeah. I promise I won't cut your throat when you're asleep. <laughs> Very funny, Mitzi. Oh no, I mean it. That's fine. But just so you know, I always sleep with my eyes open. <laughs> you guys are so funny. So the big C, you wanna talk about it? Oh, it's not raining anymore. How are you planning to find this guy? Uh, well, it's not raining anymore. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh well, I don't mind rain. Sometimes I even like it. But according to weather forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. Now that I'm actually scared of. I got lost in a fog once, when I was just nine or ten. I remember I sat under a tree crying, thinking some monster would appear right in front of me and drag me away. But now that you're a big girl, you know there are no monsters. Yeah? How do you know? I've never seen one, nor has anyone else. The only monsters are us. Maybe you're right. Well, the only monsters are us. The only monsters are us. Murderers, rapists, arsonists. They're the real beasts. So far from humanity. They're no longer capable of feeling compassion or guilt. They're the ones we should really be afraid of. But whether they're lurking in the woods or fog or the darkness of our cellars, it's all irrelevant. You can't predict what happens. You can't do anything to stop it. There is only one way. You turn into a beast yourself. And like them, you show no mercy. Oh, where did that come from, Miss Ashworth? I just don't like murderers. They're nothing but... Parasites. So, what's the deal with the Big C? So, the Big C... Want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position, I know. It's just that I was really desperate to get this room. I hope you can understand. This is the last and most important thing I must do. Before my time is up. It's fine. You seem alright. It's just... I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. 
some, like yourself, even bigger than mine. What kind of cancer is it? Do you mind me asking? Brain tumor. Her name is glioblastoma. Huh. <laughs> yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. Lymphoma, melanoma, myeloma, leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. Hmm, you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things about cancer. And I know glioblastoma. She's a real bitch. Yeah, and yet she gets to be the prom queen before night ends, while I disappear down the back exit. How long? They said I had a year. But that was six months ago, so... Yeah. Not awfully long. God damn it. Is there anything... They've tried. I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. Do you want to talk about something else? How are we planning to find this guy? How are you planning to find this guy? I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. It shouldn't be that hard, really. There are only eight apartments here. One is yours. That leaves us with seven. I was hoping that you could give me a hand, actually. You know some of your neighbors, don't you? Not many. I never really cared about them. They changed over the years, too. You probably also figured by now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly baked cake. You see a new face, you give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. That bad, eh? Well, there's that bull guy who lives above me in flat five. He came here recently to shout in my face. He's a nasty piece of work, but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. What does he do for a living? I think he's a train driver. I can't imagine somehow that my guy would be a train driver. Okay, that's good. Leaves us with just six. Anyone else you know? I'd have to think. You know, maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? I have plenty of time. There's no need to rush this. Maybe tomorrow we could sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of the building and with your help, mark down who lives where? Sounds good to me, Mitzi. You mentioned a boyfriend. You mentioned a boyfriend? Tell me something about him. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about him. His name's Jack. He's dead. Oh. Miss Ashworth, are you sure you want to listen about my miserable life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. And I'm not a happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed by now. I guess so. Anyway, I suppose I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm here. I just... don't know where to start. No, well, that's okay. Let's just, um, move on from the beginning. Tell me how you two met. Tell me how you two met. Oh, we knew each other for, like, forever. We grew up on the same street. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. A perfect match. I always knew he was the guy for me, and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was absolutely crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. I never had many friends because I had Jack. I didn't need anybody else. You know, if there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life, it's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. Some people go through a lifetime without knowing how it feels. I guess I've been very lucky. But all luck runs out sometimes. Well, Jack made those pictures on your walls? Jack made those pictures on your wall? Was he an artist? 
He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. People say it's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films. But I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog. Oh, that's different. I might be scared of fog, but I like spiders. They're beautiful. I agree. You must be out of your mind, Mitzi. <laughs> no, honestly, there is a certain indescribable beauty in sadness. Just like there's beauty in the grey and ugly winter morning when you look past the obvious and notice what others can't see. You must love my apartment then. It's like ugly took a vacation here and never went home again. <laughs> well, how did he die? How did he die? How did he die? I'll get to that, Miss Ashworth. Let me just tell you more about him first, so you could understand what happened. Okay, I, I don't know why you said that twice, but okay. How did he take the news about your cancer? He thought I was joking at first. He laughed. And he got really angry. I swore to him I was serious, but he still wouldn't believe me. We had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. It was awful. He smashed some stuff. His guitar, of all things, was the worst. He loved that guitar. Why did he break it? He was absolutely furious. He walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different. He begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things, but I did the chemo for him. It didn't help. It just made me feel sick all the time. I felt trapped in this strange place where nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack, and it was destroying him as well. He changed. He became obsessed with death. It seemed death was all he ever thought about. Even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. Well, how did he die? How did he die? How did Jack die? He was so distant in the last few weeks before... Before he died. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly, but it eventually found him, or rather, he found him. There are those forums online, you know, about all sorts of stuff, fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions, everything really. Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. There's a guy there calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god on that forum. It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. But the Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. He dwells on human weakness. His job is to plant an idea give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it, once and for good. Jack took the bait. Before he knew, he was completely brainwashed. One day, he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. We were both to die together in each other's arms. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the Eye of Adam, who created a tool for perfect suicide. He told me it was very simple. All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals, which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide that kills you within a couple of minutes. I told him he was fucking nuts, of course, but he just wouldn't give up. He reasoned with me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. 
I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance, but it was downright tacky and just wrong. Finally, he said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours, thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I love most in the whole world. A few times I even tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. But I just couldn't. Aww. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. I woke up suddenly. I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. But right there in my bedroom, before I even left, I already knew it was. When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot, but to us there was. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day, I've never gone there again. I'm so sorry, Mitzi. This just isn't right. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much, he couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy, the Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. I'm not sure if I should believe that you only want to talk to him. But hey, that's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know, but I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is that he actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. It's usually a form of extreme bullying, psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say don't feed the troll, don't talk to them. It only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I of Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry. And I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. I wish he'd given you his door number, though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. There were signs on the car windows? There were signs on the car windows? Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door, and that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with a clear mind, to prepare for it, to embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. It sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. It took me three 
three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close, I can almost smell that fucker. How strong is that gas? How strong is that gas? Extremely deadly, it turns out. It kills in minutes. It's that stinky stuff that smells like rotten eggs, you know? At high concentrations, it can knock down an elephant. What are those two chemicals? What are those two chemical products? Well, I... I'm not sure if you want to know that. I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? No, Ms. Ashworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with... Recovering. You've only just come back from the hospital. Whatever it was that made you do it, you proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam does. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? Well... Uh, I'm, but I'm gonna make my, I'm gonna, like, end up breaking my promise anyway, so. Oh, dying is not for me, not yet at least, like, everyone has to die sometime, but I'm not going to do it willingly. I've learned my lesson, dying is not for me. I'd really like to believe you, Miss Ashworth. I will need you to promise me that you will never try this method. All right. I can promise you that I will never try this method, or any other method for that matter. Been there, done that. Didn't enjoy it much. Do you believe me now? Yeah, I think I do. Good. I'm glad you said that, you know. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any good housewife can make it in a blast. So, now I know the two chemicals, but you wouldn't tell me, but you told Susan. I can respect that. Uh, well, I'm, I'm kind of scared I'm gonna save now. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Hello? Hello? Stairs? No? Cat crabber? It's what they use for catching cats. I thought these crabber... What? Crabbers were banned some time ago. Take one. Okay. Door. Strange noise is coming from the other side of the door. Uh, I'm gonna check it. Oh, shit. Oh, he's sleeping. It's an empty bucket. Mm. Look at gun locker. Collecting guns must be his little passion. If only I could reach one of them. But they're all right next to him, he'd wake up for sure. Look at pest control man. He's fast asleep. Maybe he's drunk or on drugs. Regardless of that, I have no chance of I have no chance in a fight with this guy. He's fast and strong and insane. But he's not the sharpest tool in the box. I will have to use my wits to get rid of him. Look at room. This must be his private room. He sits here all day playing with his guns while ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. What a charming couple. Look at window. There's a cold draft coming through the broken window. Okay, I guess that's all. We don't want to go in there, so because he would wake up. Back away. There we go. Okay, let's go upstairs. I'm a little scared now. I don't. I don't want to meet your wife. Oh Jesus. Um. Hello. 
Is anyone here? They don't make them like this anymore. Okay. Window. All I see is the fog. I could never find my I could never find my way home. Yeah, that's true. Sound. It's old like everything in this house. There are cobwebs and dust all over it. Not time for that. Got to figure out how to get out of here. Yeah, that's true. Um, hey, hello. The fuck was that noise? Lamp. Nice lamp. Nothing happens. I it needs it needs a new light bulb. I should look around for one. Okay, that one is out as well. I can hear noises like, is someone moving around here? I don't really want to keep going because I'm afraid that I, I will get caught. God damn it. Like, what's the worst thing that can happen because I can always come back to life. Silver lamp. Can I take the light bulb? Yes. It's too hot, I can't touch it. The lamp is on, I can't see a switch for it anywhere. Okay, so we need something to get us, like, so that we can grab it. Lamp. Yeah, there's no switch in here. Yeah, okay. Clock. It's an old grandfather clock. Looks like it's still working. Yeah, like if there's going to be a hidden passage inside. I leave it for someone else to discover. I mean, enough trouble already. Okay. Main door. Oh! Small window. Class on one side. Class on one side of the window is broken, so this is where the draft is coming through. Inside, I can see my kidnapper fast asleep in the chair. Van. Check back of the van. I'm almost glad I was unconscious when he brought me here. Through the window I can see there's animal mess and blood everywhere. But the back door is locked. I wonder if I can find a spare key somewhere. Can you open the door? It's locked. Okay. Anything else over here? The door's locked, but I can see he left a phone on the, on the driver's seat. Maybe I could call for help if I get a hold of it somehow? Okay, so there's no way we can find our uh, our way back home because of the fog. I wonder if there's anything over here. Loose bricks. Examining. Part of the wall is badly damaged. He had probably driven his van into it once. Pull up. Damage as it is, I can't quite pull the bricks out with just my fingers. That's why you have the grabber. I'm sure I can find a better use for it. Really? You sure? Like, you could, you could use it to take the brakes, okay. Okay, cool. That's not very nice, but okay. Oh shit. It's really foggy out here. Are you kidding me? There's no way I'll find a way home like this. Okay, I get your hint. Okay, fine. They have to call for help, it seems, so... Let's get back in. And open the kitchen door. Hello. Empty wine bottles. They like a drink. There's nothing like a bottle of wreck with your medium rare cat stick. Duh. Really? God damn, cooker. This is where she cooks dirty pans, still sink of an old cat stew. Really? You re do you really eat cats? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah, <sighs> They're all terribly blunt, could hardly function as a weapon. Damn. Take one, anyway. Maybe you need one, eventually. Maybe you can loosen the prick with it. Slimy. I don't think she washed up, washes up very often. There's blood smeared all over it. Oh my god, let's open it. 
door is stuck, but maybe, maybe that's better. I'm not sure I want to know what's inside. How about use this? No. Yeah, okay. You don't want to use that. What is in here? Hey? Um. Hello? Filthy remains of many meals litter at the dining table. There is a strong stench of rotten food. Get under. I don't need to hide at the moment. Oh, do I have to hide? Painting. A small painting of a street stall at night. Why do I need this? Get under it. I, I'm... Where are all these noises? I don't like those noises. Uh... Hello? What? Well, well. Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. This reminds me of something. Oh. The first thing you need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Awesome. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. I could use a break. Oh my god, that was intense. That was really intense. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. That's exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this fog. Fine. I'll go on my own then. And this is how you got kidnapped, isn't it? Oh, there was a shadow. Don't you want to close the door? Okay, fine. Um, I'm actually going to check the, the, the fourth floor if I can. The noise is coming from outside. I should get down there and investigate. Okay, sure. Never mind that then. Okay. Uh, call Bob something something. Is your name Bob? Like the guy with the van? It's a communal mailbox. It holds all tenants' mail in separately locked compartments. Open. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Surprise, surprise. All other comp compartments are locked. Okay, cool. Let's go outside then. Hey. Um. What the hell is happening? Can I go over here? Oh, that was just a car. Okay, I can't go over there. Can't see anything! Goddamn fog. <sighs> well, there's a van here. Bloody fog. Can't see a thing. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away. And not a soul would notice. The fucker. But still, it could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Always look on the right side, they say. And I always do. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? It's none of your business. Don't be such a scaredy cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? A kind man had described to me what you look like. And what, what can I say? He was spot on. What do you want? I'm just here on a job, sweetheart. Nothing more. Stop calling me, sweetheart. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone you wanna go mate a crazy cat lady called susan come with me bro i was told i'll take you on now you ain't gonna like it sweetheart 
but I'm taking you for a ride. <laughs>